China has suspended the import of yet another fish product from Taiwan. On Thursday, Chinese Customs announced a one-week ban on Atlantic horse mackerel from a Taiwanese firm, citing traces of the COVID virus found on the product's packaging. This is China's third ban on Taiwan's fish products so far this month. Taiwan officials have condemned the move and called on China to give proof of its claims against the products. Dried salted fish is marinated and then roasted over a flame to release its delicious aroma. It's a must-have dish for many people when they go to Japanese restaurants. Most dried salted fish is made using Atlantic horse mackerel, which has become the latest Taiwan product targeted by China. In a statement, Chinese Customs said it found traces of the COVID virus on the packaging of horse mackerel from Taiwan. It said that in accordance with regulations, it would suspend import of products from the company involved, Dunghe Foods Industrial Company, for one week until June 29th. The incident probably happened earlier in May. We sold this batch to a trading company, and then the trading company exported it. So actually, we had no control over the process, to be honest. I saw the public notice, and it said the ban would last a week, until June 29th. So I was just stunned. The company representative expressed surprise, saying this was the first time something like that happened to them. But it was not the first time China cited COVID as a reason for banning Taiwanese products. Earlier this month, belt fish was subjected to the same treatment. Traces of SARS-CoV-2 were detected on the outer packaging of frozen aquatic products imported from Taiwan. As a result, our customs authority suspended the acceptance of product import declarations from the company involved for one week, starting from June 10th, as part of our strict pandemic measures. So far this month, China has banned three aquaculture products from Taiwan. The Mainland Affairs Council is demanding that China present proof of its claims against the products. So-called inspection and quarantine measures must be conducted in accordance with scientific principles and in the spirit of international cooperation. We hope these analysis methods used by China are in accordance with international practices. We hope that when China conducts such inspections and then implements a ban, it also presents some scientific evidence. If China truly believes that it makes decisions based on professional and technical grounds without any political considerations, then it should allow experts to discuss those decisions. Our inspections did not detect the virus. China keeps saying that it's finding the virus on packaging, but there's never been a single case of someone being infected by packaging. If there were to be a case, the whole world would sound a public health alarm. China doesn't give us any relevant scientific data, and it just goes ahead and blocks the imports. All the products involved are fresh food. Officials urge China to ease up on its campaign against Taiwanese goods and the people who produce them.